this video, I'm going to show you a specific example of how to find the volume of a pyramid. Uh, the given information is that base edges are 10. Give a unit to those those centimeters. And that lateral edges are also 13 centimeters. So we're making the assumption that this is a regular square pyramid. And since I'm writing the problem, I get to have that. Uh, it's a regular square pyramid. And that means that the base is a square. Uh, and that the faces are all isosceles triangles. In order to do that, we need to know the volume of a pyramid formula. And the volume of a pyramid is the same formula as the volume of a cone. Uh, on YouTube, there are some videos out there with uh, pouring of water from a pyramid into a prism, uh, and it shows that the pyramid takes three of those in order to fill a prism with the same base and same height. And so that's uh, sort of an evidence that you can look for online uh, regarding why that, that formula works. Okay, so if the formula is one-third area of the base times the height, I need to find the area of the base and the height. My given information is definitely enough since, since my base edges are 10 and it's a square, I can find the area of that base fairly easily. Okay, so the area of the base, since it's a square, side times side, and it's 100 centimeters squared. If the base were pentagonal or hexagonal, then you would find the area of that base the same way you would find the area of any regular polygon, uh, using dividing it into triangles and then multiplying through by the number of triangles once you found the area of one of them. But there's a video on finding the area of uh, regular polygons online that you can check for that. Okay, so we've got our base area. Now we need to find the height. Uh, we're given lateral edges, and that's that segment right there. All of these drawn segments are the lateral edges. The red segment there, that's the height. Uh, sometimes confused with this green segment, which is the slant height. Slant height lies on the surface of the pyramid, and so that would be something that you're going to use in surface area. Volume we're looking at the space that it can hold, or how much space is inside that pyramid. Uh, so really, we're concerned with the height, the, the value, the measurement that actually goes through the inside of it. So that red segment is the height. Now, having the slant height drawn in is actually somewhat convenient, because in order to find the height, one way that I can do that is to use the right triangle that exists with this red segment, blue segment, and green segment. So we've got this triangle that has 13 as its hypotenuse, 5 as its base edge, and that will help us to solve for the slant height. It happens to be that this is a Pythagorean triple, or 12 would be the, the third side, but obviously with the Pythagorean theorem, you could solve for it as well. x squared plus 5 squared is equal to 13 squared. 
then you would get 12 as your third side for that. So we found our slant height, so we can label that here, which is now going to allow us to go through and find our height using the Pythagorean theorem. So our height of the pyramid is square root of 119. That won't simplify. I think it's 7 times 17. Uh, so we've got everything we need. We have our area of the base. We have our height. And now we can find the volume. So there's the volume of the pyramid. It's 100 over square root of 3 times the square root of 119. Now, obviously, if your teacher would like the decimal uh, answer, then you would just simply type it into your calculator and hit under you've got your decimal value. So that's how you find the volume of a pyramid. Uh, in this particular case, we were not given all the information right away that we need to do so. Uh, we had to solve for some of it. We were given base edge and a lateral edge. We were able to identify some right triangles that exist within this pyramid to help us solve for that segment. Uh, there are other ways to do it. We also could have done a triangle that uses the height and the radius of the base and then the lateral edge. Uh, but I chose just for this example to use the slant type. Either way would be perfectly acceptable and would lead to the same, same answer. Okay, so volume of a pyramid, one-third area of the base times height. Solve for the area of the base, solve for the height, and then you've got your volume.